Hey guys, Becky G's Lace here. I'm taking you with me on a vacation with the Yap Mount crew. Okay, so we landed, the flight was really great. I watched the movie Salt and ate peanut butter M&Ms and it was a good time. So now we're here in California. We're staying at the Disney Hotel. You can maybe see the uh, focus on the Disney thing. Okay, I, I, I don't know if it's focusing on the Disney thing, but I'll show you guys in a moment uh, the whole room. So actually, no, not in a moment. Let, let's just take the whole tour right now. Here's the bed. And here's where you can see the Disney thing that I was like pointing at and then it wasn't really, yeah, the thing. And then here's the TV, the whole thing. That's me, hi! <laughs> and then over here we have the bathroom. Why the bathroom is always like a weird orangey light, I do not know, but hello, we're here. Uh, we have the uh, I guess powder room and uh, the shower and then another full size mirror. This is my fit at the moment for going to the uh, airport because I always get really cold on the planes. However, we're gonna change into shorts because we're in California and it's warm here, unlike Seattle where it's like 50 degrees all the time. So I don't know what we're gonna get into today, but I'm excited to bring you with me. Okay. So now we are walking to lunch. We are on our way to Disney Springs, which is literally connected to the hotel, which is awesome. Um, we have a couple of our friends. Here we got Tristan, and we have Corinne, <laughs> and Mike is here, but she's not here. <laughs> Maybe later you'll see her. Maybe not, yeah, she's in the shadows. Uh, but we're gonna find a place to eat. I'm excited to walk around Disney Springs and see what else there is to do. Okay, so we just ate at Naples restaurant and we like to play the game, what is it out of 10? So what did you get and what was it out of 10, Corinne? Uh, Hawaiian pizza, I'll say seven. A seven? Yeah. Okay, okay, high remarks. Oh. Captain? Pollo pizza with chicken, red tomato, not red tomatoes, red onions, right. barbecue sauce, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, wow. okay. Yeah. I had the bruschetta and honestly, I would give it a five out of 10, mostly because Listen, there was no balsamic vinaigrette. I want some balsamic on my bruschetta. Oh. It just like, it was kind of, it, it was weak. It was, should've got the pizza. I should've <laughs> got the pizza. So uh, thank you for uh, coming and tuning in to our What Was It Out of 10. We are back from Disney Springs. It was really fun. Uh, we got to eat, we went shopping. I'll show you my haul from, um, we went to Sephora. <laughs> um, so I got this sunscreen. It's called Glow Screen from Super Goop. I never heard of this brand, but um, it's bronzed. And so I forgot my, I have like a tinted facial sunscreen that I wear and I totally forgot it. So um, I got some of that. Hopefully it's not too bronze and like 
shimmery and glittery, but we'll see. I'll probably just wear this instead of my regular foundation uh, because it's hot in California compared to Seattle where it's not hot. And every time when it's like hot and I'm sweating and I have like a lot of foundation on, I like break out and stuff. So I don't wanna do that. And then uh, I forgot my makeup remover, and so I got um, this Miles Mylucellular water, my cellular, my cell, my cellular, my cellular. We got there. It took a minute, but we got there. My cellular water, um, which is like I don't know why it's different or better than other makeup removers, but. I think, and I might just be lying to you absolutely completely, this might not be true at all, uh, but I'm pretty sure it like um, bonds to the oils of the makeup a certain way and is a lot easier to get rid of and then it like cleanses your face. Uh, and it's not super stripping or harsh chemicals or any of that stuff. Like I used to use witch hazel, but witch hazel is really drying for your skin and so um, I think the micellular water we're there, we're there is um, just a little bit better. So yeah, that, that's what apparently this is. So we'll see how that goes. As for the rest of the night, um, I think we have a recording that we're gonna do and we'll hear it a little bit. And then, um, yeah, just kind of hang out, maybe get dinner. We kind of had a late lunch, so I'm not really expecting dinner, but maybe dessert. There's a salt and straw or salt and spoon. I think it's salt and straw uh, in Jesse Springs. It's like this really good gourmet ice cream place. So uh, I might have to hop over there uh, depending on how late the recording goes. So the recording is gonna start um, here in a little bit, but um, it might be worth getting some ice cream if by the time we finish, it's still open. I, I don't know. I don't know how quick the recording will go, so we shall see. But anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm excited that we're here on vacation with the AF crew. It's going to be a lot of fun to hang out with everybody. And um, yeah, it's going to be a good time. We're back at Downtown Disney. I'm going to meet Mihai at a place called Jazz Kitchen. It's right there, the Jazz Kitchen. And we're gonna have a drink and maybe some dessert. So I'm excited to see what the night comes. My favorite part of vacation is the food. And of course, I'll let you know uh, what it is out of 10. Hello, that's our thing. Okay, see you soon. Now Holly, what's the proper way to have it? With four yeah. feet, just honk. I yeah, mean, how do we eat these in, things? All right, you gotta hump into it, hump but you know, in. don't breathe out, otherwise the sugar will get everywhere. Okay, hold your breath. Three, two, one. Mmm. Very good. That right. is. So we just ate at, what's it called? We ate at, what is it called? The Jazz Kitchen, classic New Orleans cuisine. Ralph Brennan's and Jazz Kitchen. And we're bringing back what was it out of 10? So you had a mac and cheese chicken dish. What was it out of yes. 10, Mihai? A blackened chicken mac and cheese. I would say it is a straight up 10. Really? Super cheese. Yeah. Once you go 10, you can't go back. Okay. I'm committing. Standards are very high. You had a couple of drinks. I did. I had a beignet cocktail that had a little beignet on the top. Very good. Would recommend. What and then, what was it out of 10? I will say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. I enjoyed okay, it a lot, but okay. I want the beignet to be fresh and it was cool. Sure, but, uh, sure. Yeah. And then we also had beignets. Be beignets? Beignets all beignets. around. Beignets. And it's still got some. Basically, it's a powdered donut. And what would you say is out of 10? Ah, uh, there's just. Beignets are an automatic 10 out of 10. What? You can't everything. 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10. Fried dough with sugar. I would say a solid 8 out of 10. Oh, Fair. But I, do, I don't know if I have anything to compare this to. Just the mere fact that not everything could be a 10, Mihai. What? <laughs> you gotta enjoy life. You gotta just. Sometimes you just get a taste that comes down from the heavens and it's just. All right, okay, well. And with a good Sazerac on the side, just mm. powdery goodness, good drinks, <laughs> good friends, good company. Yeah. Woo, and that is the place that we just went to. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
We made it back to the hotel, but I'm extremely tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Ah, uh, break! Good morning! Okay, we are headed into downtown Disney for lunch because actually it's not morning at all. It is lunch. We rescheduled yesterday's recording for this morning, and so that's ready. I uploaded my video, and yeah, we're ready. We're hanging out. This is my outfit, a cute little romper, and uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna eat. Full flavor profile. <laughs> I picked it pretty quickly on a whim. <laughs> it was all stuck together. We didn't cut it all out. Oh, yeah. so. okay. And sweet, citrusy, a little bit of whiskey. Okay. Very drinkable. Very. You could get yourself in trouble with these. But what is it out of ten? Hmm. So I almost feel it's a little overly sweet for this one. So I'm okay. gonna say maybe. I'm feeling somewhere around probably a seven. Okay, so the Mr. Ten is no longer a ten. You gave it a seven. <laughs> Mind you, also through the prism of hot California sun, so I might be a little more cynical at that <laughs> given moment. But you know what? It's satisfying. So we just finished lunch. We ate at Naples again for a second time and rumor has it that's where we're gonna have dinner so basically we're just eating at Naples the whole time but I'd like to do the what was it, it out is, of 10 Chris. Oh my goodness are we talking about oh, there's so many options I had the calamari I had the margarita pizza <laughs> I had the uh, Malibu breeze cocktail all fine fine additions to really? their menu okay, yes so Everything was a 10 or Everything. would you give it like a 7? Like the whole experience The whole out experience of, 10. of the, uh, let's say, okay, we're going to do uh, three uh, three uh, sections. Sure, sure. Food, 10 out of 10. Uh, service, including time, uh, give it like yeah. an 8 or something like that. Yeah. Price, also very good, 9. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing that's something like an average of like a 8 or 9. Eight or nine? I'm, okay. I'm terrible at math. Don't ask me about equations. So I have a different experience. Ah. I'm vegetarian and mm -hmm. I got some weird salad thing that didn't have any lettuce on it. It was literally just bread and tomatoes. How's it a salad without. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Which makes my meal, honestly, like a six or a seven. That is unfortunate. They better yeah. do better tonight. They better do better tonight because we're eating there for the third time. Yes. <laughs> Here's me, hi, with this umbrella. I don't play nicely with the sun, but you know what? It's a nice day today. It is a nice day, better than Texas heat. Oh, it's been 100 degrees for like the last three weeks. Six hours later. It is now the evening, and uh, I'm in the same place that I was every single time that I vlogged so far. Uh, we went to the pool, and that was really fun. And now we're off to dinner at the same place that we ate lunch at the last two times. We're going to Naples again. Uh, apparently this is one of Jess's favorite spots in downtown Disney. So we're gonna check it out uh, with the entire FML crew. And I'm very excited uh, to get something different this time. Uh, the penne pasta, which apparently is really good. So if I have a 10 out of 10, I will let you know, but it's really hard to impress me with food. So we shall see, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated with our trip. So we just finished dinner at Naples for the third time, and I have to say that my meal is actually pretty good. I would say it's an eight out of 10. I got a penne pasta. I do this thing called what was it out of 10? So what did you get and what was it out of 10? This is Marissa and this is Shadow. Hi. I got the pesto pizza. It was like a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Okay. Seven out of 10? Why, why, okay, but why is it Good seven out of 10? pesto sauce, yeah. it very uh, pesto-y. Yeah. Okay, okay. The sausage was a little oil. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Yeah, I got, a, I, got a, I got a pepperoni and onion pizza with arugula. Okay. Uh, it felt healthy. No. No. Uh, 
Oh I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Alright, It was all right. uh, crust was a little soggy though. It was, it was sure. good. Eh. A little, little soggy crust. A little crust. soggy. A little soggy. Alright, and that's what it was out of 10. We're back at the hotel. I am very tired and it's only the second day of our trip so um, I don't know how that's gonna fare for the rest of um, our adventures. We're here for VidCon so I haven't actually said that yet in the vlog but we're all here meeting together for VidCon. That's most likely going to be a separate vlog if I'm being honest because I feel like we have a lot going on in this vlog with food and funsies and all that stuff so I'll share VidCon in like a part two kind of thing but uh, I really do struggle to figure out what to say uh, if I'm being 100% honest I've been trying to record like this very section this very part of the vlog for like five minutes maybe ten minutes and uh, I'm just I didn't I didn't know what to say and I think it's weird uh, kind of like talking to myself and the camera um, because no one's here. It's just me and Dr Drew's not on this trip and I don't have my other friends to like bounce off of and talk to them and interview them about how their food was. So uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something to get used to. I hope uh, the more I vlog, the more comfortable I feel in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, I didn't think that I would kind of have this issue of uh, not knowing what to say or feeling weird and awkward. But I suppose everyone who vlogs kind of uh, goes through this. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and I uh, hope you have a really good night. Um, again, this is day two and tomorrow is a new day. I'm excited to see what that brings, but we're gonna end it here and I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today.